being prepared to conquer any disaster or almost any disaster really is realistic because you can't beat everything we all know that but being prepared as best you can to be a conqueror of the event is critical in ways that people don't really understand um, <clears throat> most people think they're going to rise to the occasion uh, there's you only rise as high as you're trained in mastery uh, you can you know when you get under stress of a, be it driving you know, first aid, whatever type of event it may be that you're trained, whatever level of training you have is what you, that you've mastered is what you can do. And there's a lot of psychological stuff that can back that up. Historically, uh, one very obvious one is that uh, people are out there and they get a traumatic event and they go backwards in their thought processes to an earlier age because they've mastered that age, whatever that age may be. It's uh, often said that when kids are in a tornado or major fire, some sort of catastrophic event, if they're seven, eight, nine year old, they can even go back as much as five years, be like they're a three year old again in many ways. Not every way, so not every kid does that, but it does happen. So anyway, just that to say, to be a conqueror, we go to the level we're mastered and have equipped. And a lot of people think that they're going to be a conqueror. Uh, and as a Christian, I see a lot of it in people going, well, I'm going to overcome and Jesus is going to provide and God's got to cover it and all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, he does. But he takes from what we have and what we do. People are very familiar with the fish, uh, you know, two fish, loaves of bread, bread, and just then he fed thousands of people, but he didn't start with nothing. He started with a meal that he turned into thousands and thousands of meals. So to be prepared to be a conqueror, you actually have to have things in place is what that boils down to. You need to have things prepared and ready to go in an event. And that's how you conquer in a, a disaster is you don't overcome the event of what it is. You prepare for it. For example, like if you're going to, if you're worried about having a car uh, or a fire in, the, in your house, you put a spare change of clothes in your car uh, and you have some other things that would be important for you after a fire. You know, be it a home insurance policy that has information kind of held back in case your car gets stolen or something like that. Just those types of things that would be easy to grab and help you out. And documentation. Uh, I know people that will go through their entire house and film it on a regular basis and never post it anywhere, do it on a, uh, and put it in a system that is not on the internet or post anywhere. And, the, but they'll film their whole house so that if it ever does burn down, they have a documentation of what was in the house. So you can freeze frame a video when you get with the definition of cameras we have nowadays. And if family start doing that when there's just VHS tapes and camcorders are, you know, the, you know, 30 pound bricks you throw on your shoulder. Uh, but, you know, you got a smartphone now. You just record it, you save it, you download it to a computer, or you use your computer to do it, or a tablet, and you just keep it on that. And then you can put it on a thumb drive and throw it in a vehicle, and you have documentation of what you have that's never been on the internet or anything like that. So those are types of things to do to be prepared to be a conqueror in a time of disaster. So you, the thought is you're not going to avoid it. You can't avoid the disaster, but you, what do you need to do to have in place for your day-to-day -day life to continue in such a way that you're you're actually going to be able to overcome and be a, a conqueror in that event? You're not conquering other people or or anything. This, this is not a war thing. This is conquering the event by having things pre-positioned and planned ahead. If you're if you're in a tornado alley or a place where hurricanes hit, some people will position supplies. Uh, two hours, three hours away, or if it's for a hurricane, or as little as two or three miles away for a tornado where they put them some, st some stuff that they may need to, to get back up and running if a tornado was to hit their house. Because the likelihood of it hitting both places is low. It's possible, but it's lower. Uh, a little thing like for most people, if you're worried about that for tornadoes, you put the, 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 your resupply spot, or for lack of a better term, north or south you don't put it east or west because most tornadoes as a general rule well, there's always an exception as a general rule move from the west to the east just because that's the prevailing winds in the u.s and if it's a prevailing wind in your area just think that it may be going a little northeast southeast you know sometimes it goes southeast or even sometimes it even go west but 
generally speaking, they're not going to be, a, you know, the next town north of you or south of you. So those are types of things to think about and be prepared for. And remember, it's not, you don't conquer a disaster by beating it. You conquer a disaster by preparing to have things positioned to make your life better afterwards so you're in a better position. So like, if you have a uh, trailer or fifth wheel, you pay a little extra and store it in the town north or south of you, drive it a little bit more, but then you have things positioned where if your house gets hit, the tr your, your fifth wheel or your trailer isn't destroyed, so you have a place to move it up to your house and be able to live in it while you recover what was damaged. Those types of things are ways to go. And there's so much more that is involved with this on a much more deeper level. And if you're interested in anything about that, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can drop a comment below or you can reach me uh, via my website, fearlesslyprepared.com. Thank you.